again I know it's been quite a while um, it just seems like if it wasn't one thing it was always another either it was just constantly raining and then if it wasn't raining it seemed like I was working on the weekends and it's just been complete chaos really but we are back again and so um, today I'm gonna be changing the oil in my 2019 Dodge Challenger so I figured I'd go ahead and film and uh, show you guys how I do it so I think this video will be perfect for people that uh, maybe don't know how to do this it's actually very simple I think uh, pretty much anybody could do this with just some basic tools and um, especially for anybody that's new to this kind of platform um, this will kind of give you an idea of how to do it and what oil to use um, I think it's funny because I'm in various uh, Dodge groups and Challenger groups on Facebook and the new people are always asking what oil do I run and everybody just completely kills them in the comments so to answer that question I am using Pennzoil Ultra Platinum Full Synthetic 5W20 that is what Dodge recommends that you use in here and um, I personally believe this is the best oil that you can buy I know uh, a lot of people like um, AMS oil and whatnot but I really 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 like Pennzoil um, this one is actually made from natural gas and not crude oil I don't know uh, I don't know how that would affect performance but it's pretty unique and uh, again this is full synthetic oil the 3.6 liter takes uh, I believe six quarts so I have this one quart bottle and I also have a five quart bottle as well and I'm going to be using an OEM Mopar filter part MO349 and um, I know I think uh, K&N sells a filter, but I don't know, I just think the OEM Mopar brand, you can't go wrong with it. So um, this is what we're going to be using. Again, it's very simple, very easy, and um, I'm actually a little late changing the oil. I was supposed to change it about three months ago, so I guess technically speaking, I'm not really taking care of it, but um, that's all going to change. Again, it's just been crazy with just non-stop rain, non-stop working, and so now I finally have a chance to breathe and work on my Challenger. It's not even really that big of a deal. I really don't even drive it that much nowadays. Now that I have the Edge, I drive that uh, back and forth to work. So five, six days a week I'm driving that. And then I'll drive this probably one, maybe two days a week. So uh, it'll all be okay. But uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start changing the oil right now. Use a jack to lift the front of your vehicle from the appropriate jacking points. Always remember to support the vehicle on adequate jack stands. Alright, so now we have the car jacked up on jack stands. We have one jack stand right here. And then coming around to the other side, we have the other jack stand. And then what I like to do is I like to lock the jack in place just in case one of the jack stands do fail, car won't fall on you, you have that third support. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the oil fill cap just to kind of relieve some of the pressure. I've always liked to just remove the oil fill cap. Um, feels like the oil Kind of flows out a little bit better that way and so this is what i was talking about earlier it says sae 5w20 so we're just going to kind of clean some of this up right here just so we can have everything really nice and really clean and so now it's the fun part now we are going to go under the car and with this vehicle, it does have a service cover under the car that has to be removed so you can access the uh, 
the drain plug. So we're gonna go ahead and get under the car right now. All right, so now that we are under the vehicle, this is the service cover that will have to be removed. And it is held on to four 10 millimeters. Now don't lose these because you're gonna need these in order to put this uh, service cover back on. So there's one. There's one right in the face. I really need to get a uh, undercarriage sprayer. Cause I have all sorts of freaking crap falling in my face. There's number two. And now, number four. Now just be careful. Hold this up. Otherwise, this thing will freaking fall right on your face. I don't want that. All right, then take this, set it out of the way, and now right here is your drain pan. This thing right here. Close. But yeah, right here, this. This is your drain bolt, so this is what you'll need to remove to uh, take the oil out. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to remove the drain bolt. And um, so what I did is I put down a drop cloth. That's what this is right here. I mainly did that because I'm in an apartment and I don't want to hear my landlord start crying if I spill some oil on the concrete. So, um, yeah, I put this drop cloth down and then I have a... 16 quart reusable drain pan that I'm going to pour the oil into or that I'm going to let the oil drain out into. So in order to remove the drain bolt, it is a 13 millimeter socket. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Now, whenever you go to drain the oil, it's best to um, warm up the car a little bit first. Never really do it cold and you don't want the car super hot either because then you'll burn yourself. So um, I went for a little drive earlier. I drove for about three miles and then I came back and I've let the car cool down for about an hour. So the oil should be warm enough to where it should uh, drain out without a problem, but uh, cool enough to where I don't burn the hell out of myself. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. See, didn't burn myself, but I did <laughs> still make a mess. Now, obviously gloves would be really nice, but uh, I checked the price on some nitrate gloves and they're freaking expensive. The price went up like the ones I checked out, they're like triple what they used to be. So says, screw that. So now, we will just uh, let this drain. If you're using one of these, make sure you open up the little breather valve. It's a little, uh, it's a little hole on the top that has a cap on it. Make sure you open that up so that way you can breathe and it doesn't overflow. And then also just make sure the cap on the actual uh, drain pan is closed. Because if it's open, it'll just spill everywhere and you'll have a hell of a mess.
So I'm gonna let this drizzle out for a while. I wanna make sure all this old oil is drained out. Um, the oil that's in the car, well now it's out of the car, but the oil that was in there was um, whatever conventional oil they use at the dealerships. Um, whenever I hurt my knee, uh, you know, I, I wasn't able to get under the car and change the oil or anything myself, so I was just kind of taking it to the dealership and letting them change it. But now that I'm a little bit better, my knee still hurts. I still can't really walk up and down any stairs normally. But um, now that I can kind of do a little bit, now I'm changing the oil myself. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let this drizzle out for a little bit, get all this old crappy oil out, and then we are going to come back and um, we are going to reinstall the drain plug and then we will pull out the uh, oil filter actually we'll go ahead and do the oil filter right now so that way that can drain out a little bit and um, we'll put the new oil filter in and we'll put the drain plug in and we'll add the new oil so now it's time to where we can remove the oil filter and uh, this is the drain bolt I couldn't really uh, show it to you guys whenever I was under the car because uh, really really tight down there so I'm just kind of cleaning it up getting all the gunk off of it so now like I said we can remove the oil filter so in order to remove that you're gonna need a 24 millimeter socket make sure you have some paper towels standing by because uh, more than likely there's gonna be a lot of oil dripping off of it and we don't want to make want everything nice and clean. We don't want anything catching fire. So, go ahead. I right, almost got it. Alright. So now, let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. There's your filter. It's a paper element filter. Oh, let's set that there. Clean off the threads. See, I guess I'm weird. Some people would just uh, throw all this stuff together. Me, I like for everything to be really nice and really clean. I'm also going to clean a little bit in the housing. Getting kind of gunk filled up from those threads. Just so that way everything will seat properly and we don't have any problems whatsoever. So, that's what it looks like. So, we are going to let that drain for a little bit and then uh, we'll come back out here in a minute and we will reinstall the drain plug. We'll put in the new filter and then we'll add the oil. I've let the oil drain out for about half an hour. It's mostly all uh, drained. So now we're gonna install this. So we installed the drain plug now we can put that service panel back on that will cover all of this up and then we can move back up top all right so now let me grab one of the bolts make sure that it still has the washer on it and i'm just going to hand tighten it for now just to at least have it in there. The same thing with this other side. Alright. Pretty sure you guys can't see this. Because it's a tight squeeze under here. But 
Now I'm doing the ones on the back. I'm just hand tightening them. Welcome to Texas where there's loud diesel trucks everywhere you go. Alright. So now we have the 10 millimeter again and let's go ahead and tighten these up. So that way we don't lose our service panel. Some people might think that this is a pain in the butt to deal with, but it keeps everything nice and clean down here. So whenever you go to change the oil, everything's not gunked up with dirt, road film, whatever it might be. time that we install our new oil filter so you open it up it gives you a new o-ring this is what will go on the cap and here's the actual filter so it already has a pre-installed o-ring right here on top of the crown so what we'll have to do is we're just gonna pry this o-ring off and then we're gonna seat the new o-ring it up a little bit it's gonna come down here to the last groove just like so and now you can take your filter pop it in to the cap and then you just insert it in and it goes right into place so make sure you put your funnel in Start off with the five quarts and just very carefully pour it in there. All right, that's five quarts. So I'm going to slowly pour the sixth quart and then we'll check the dipstick. I'm going to pour about half and then we'll check it. I think my camera's starting to overheat because it's so hot out here and uh, my camera randomly shut off but Ended up taking the full six quarts. So now we're just going to reinstall the oil fill cap. Just like that. And now we can go inside and we can start her up. All right, foot on the brake, start her up. Sounds really good. So now we have to reset oil light so you're gonna use these buttons gotta turn the car off you're gonna to go to run you're gonna use these buttons you're gonna go down here you're gonna to go to oil life and you're gonna hold okay and there we go now it's reset to 100 Alrighty guys, so that is how you change the oil on your Dodge Challenger and um, Very simple process. It's very easy um, I've always preferred to change the oil myself versus taking it to the dealership or taking it to like one of those uh, lube shops um, You just never know for sure 
what they're putting in your vehicle or if the process was even done right but doing it yourself you are in control of what you use what product goes in and you know if you did it right or if you cut some corners or whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you found it useful leave a comment down below and let me know what oil you guys like to use and why again i like to use pens oil ultra platinum full synthetic that's just my go-to and it's my favorite oil to use and i feel like it's just i don't know i just feel like it's the best so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to let me with a big thumbs up also be sure to subscribe for new videos every single week hopefully i know it's, I know it's been a while but i'm trying to get back on track and um until my next video take care be safe peace Night.